Chapter 8, Sharing Secrets Hey, give it back, Jackson said. I can't, said Mike. It disappeared. He pretended to look for it on the ground, even in his pocket. You stole my money, Jackson insisted. Give it back. It's gone, vanished into thin air, Mike said. He was loving this. Jackson's face was turning red. You did some trick and you took what's mine, he snapped. Mike shrugged. I'm really sorry, he said. Yeah, you sound really sorry. It's just a quarter, Nora piped up. Jackson whirled around. You stay out of this. There's nothing he can do, Nora pointed out. It's gone. Jackson grabbed his bike off the grass. Mike and Nora could hear his tires squealing like a race car as he rounded the corner toward his house. Mike and Nora high-fived. Did you see his face, Nora laughed. He was furious. Mike had known Jackson forever. Even when they were little, Jackson was the one who pushed other kids around or took their toys. Getting him back for once was sweet. He'll keep nagging me about that quarter until he gets it back, Mike said. You think he'll bother? Nora asked. You don't know him like I do, Mike told her. He has to have his own way. Maybe you can trick him again, Nora suggested. Mike paused. He hadn't thought of that. There were plenty of tricks in the Book of Secrets. It would drive Jackson crazy to keep getting fooled. Mike had, hadn't decided if he would show the book to anyone, but Nora would understand it better than anyone else he knew. She'd met Mr. Zerlin herself, and he could really use her help picking out a good trick. Can I show you something, he said. Sure, said Nora, following him inside. They tiptoed past Mike's mom's office. She was in there on the phone and went upstairs to Mike's room. He took the book of secrets out of his sock drawer and handed it to Nora. Whoa, she said, running her hands over the silver letters on the cover. Where did you get this? She could see it was something special. Yesterday, after we left the library, I begged my dad to take me back to the White Rabbit, Mike explained. I thought I might be able to get a magic book there even after the library was closed. Mr. Zerlin was leaving, but he had this book there just waiting for me. He gave it to me and disappeared down the street. Nora was quiet for a moment. That's really weird, she said. How did he know? It's like he knows magic, but he is magic. He knows secrets, and he has secrets. Mike knew exactly what she meant. There are tons of tricks in there, Mike said. Some of them have to be right for Jackson. Nora opened the book and glanced at the first page. Then she closed it quickly, like she knew she shouldn't read any further. And the whole book is full of them? Mike didn't know much about magic, but he knew magicians didn't tell their secrets. They took a special oath or something, he was pretty sure. They promised not to share their tricks. But a magician also needed a person he could trust. A person who was in on the trick. One of Mike's friends could do that. Charlie or Zack, but which one? Not both. Could he really trust either of them more than Nora? Even grown-ups trusted Nora. You can read the book, he said after a minute. It's okay, but you have to promise not to tell, ever. Magicians are careful about their secrets. She put her hand up like she was taking a vow. I swear, she said seriously, I will never share these secrets. Now they, now they were new neighbors, sort of friends and sworn partners in magic. Mike just hoped that Jackson Jacobs would never figure that out. So, you want to see how I made the coin disappear, Mike asked. She watched intently as he did the trick. Mike taped the quarter to his finger. He made the fist, dropped the coin in his pocket, and sprinkled the magic dust. Nora shook her head. I never would have figured that out, she said. How did you learn that? The way you learn anything, I guess, said Mike. I read the book and followed the directions. And I practiced, too. He didn't mention the action figures. But I thought... Her sentence trailed off, and Mike knew just what she thought. I'm just not good in school, okay, he said, annoyed. I can't sit still, so sometimes I miss things. But I can learn. I'm not stupid, if that's what you were thinking. Nora blushed. That's not what I thought, she said. I saw you do that riddle. Maybe you just understand things that other people don't understand. I'm a little like that, too. Mike wanted to stop talking about this. I hear you're pretty smart, he said lightly. So that makes two of us, and you're great at soccer. Nora sighed. I was on a team at my old school, she said, but by the time I moved here, it was too late to sign up. You should come with me tomorrow, Mike said. I told Charlie and Zach I'd go to their first game, even though I'm not 
and playing. Zach's dad is the coach. I know he'll get you on the team. Nora smiled. Thanks, Mike. So how about that magic trick? Nora sat at his desk while Mike sprawled on the floor with the Book of Secrets. I don't even know where to start, he said, flipping through the pages. Let's see. We could make a coin sweat, he said. That would really freak Jackson out. Or how about this? We could make it feel like a ghost was tapping him on the shoulder. I don't think he'd fall for that, said Nora. Can I see? Mike passed the book up to her. What about this one, she said. Wait, how do you even do that, she wondered. Hide the spectator's card under a band-aid on your arm? Cool. Mike looked over her shoulder. There's a section here called Mind Magic. No, I don't want to read Jackson's mind, Nora said. You really want to know what he's thinking? I guess not. Hmm. Wait a minute. I've got it, said Mike. He turned the page and stayed at the desk so he and Nora could look at, the tr at a trick together. Silently, they both read through the instructions. Then they grinned at each other. It was perfect. But before they could try it, they heard Mike's mom coming up the stairs. She walked swiftly down the hallway and stood outside Mike's door with her hands on her hips. That was Mrs. Canfield on the phone, she told Mike. What's this about a book report? <laughs>